Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the past week's happenings in the world of monster taming. Now, before we jump in, you might notice that today is Sunday, and yes, if you haven't heard on either the Twitter or the YouTube community tab, uh, we have moved Monster Tamer News to Sunday for the time being because of my work schedule. This will at least be in effect for the next eight weeks or so, so expect your news on Sunday instead of Monday. Sorry for any inconvenience it's my cause. Anyways, this week we have a brand new monster taming game releasing tomorrow on Early Access, that being Mythic. An island, a lot of music in the form of Temtem Si Panku OST, and some new monsters including one from Abomination, a Re-Legend Magnus, a very interesting Mithrin reveal that started out as a teaser, and more. So as usual, sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Okay, so let's start things off with the big news of the week, and that being the early access launch of Myth and Island. Now, Myth and Island is a choice-driven monster taming RPG with roguelike elements. Cirt compared the gameplay to a game like Slay the Spire, in which you have various branching choices, which subsequently lead to various encounters, and I couldn't agree more. The game also features a choice between story mode and survival mode, which in the latter, you'll be given a random team, and it allows you to try to get as far as possible without losing it all. Honestly, this game kind of popped up out of nowhere for me, and I was really happy happy to hear how close it was to launching in early access when I first found out about it a few months back. I'll leave a link to their Steam page in the description where you can either wishlist it or, if you're watching this on Monday, pick it up for yourself. We have a couple pieces of final Stardust news, the first being the Kickstarter update that showcases a new art style of the game where it takes less inspiration from Pokemon and more from a game like Golden Sun. We also got a couple of tracks here, the first just being a basic fanfare for when you win a battle. And the second being the main antagonist battle theme. Let's listen to that. The Kindred Fates community newsletter just dropped and in it we learned that there have been various changes to the account systems in order to make them more efficient and we've also been given leaderboards displaying various statistics such as win-loss ratios, favorite kinfolk, number of matches played, etc. The alpha is now available to every person who purchased a champion tier or higher with the Kickstarter so that's it for the various waves. That being said, because the alpha is out now, the majority of newsletter content has been uh, quite compressed lately as they're focusing more on a lot of patches and whatnot for the alpha alpha as opposed to progress on the overall game. This is because as of right now, SkyMill's main focus is currently on the alpha until they're satisfied with the state of it, then they'll be moving back over to regular development. Now because of this and the compressed newsletters, I'm not 100% sure if making a separate newsletter video for Kindred Fates right now makes sense, just because the videos are going to end up being like three minutes long, if that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the newsletter updates in this segment here, and then when regular development picks up and we start to get some more information and the newsletters get a little bit longer, we'll go back to it. Although I am ultimately curious to know what you guys think about that. Uh, do you want me to hold off for a bit? Let me know what you guys think about that. I think it's the right move to make for now. Zach over at Thylacine Studios has announced that the next major update to Serulum Ultimate is coming on December 21st. Now, interestingly, he uses the word major as being an understatement. Statement. So I'm really curious to see what we have in store. This is especially because Zack's updates are already massive and Serlum on top of that is one of the biggest game maker studio games out there if not the biggest so I'm very intrigued to say the least. We got a couple new games to add to the segment this week, the first of which is Terraform, a browser-based monster taming RPG that's supposed to be free for mobile and PC. Now, the game had a Kickstarter last year and was trying to raise 8500 USD, but unfortunately did not make that goal. Now, at the time of the Kickstarter, the monster taming community wasn't what it is now, and yesterday I posted a video talking about the game and how it could have probably easily reached that funding goal with how popular these types of games are becoming and how unified the community really is. The dev actually did give us an update that basically she had to shelve the project due to the lack of funding. However, she's now seeking a new programmer as the previous one has since moved on from the project. And if anybody is interested in that position, you can always add her on Twitter. I'll leave a link to her Twitter in the description. Another game that's popped up recently is The Harmony Between Us. This is a 3D monster taming RPG with a very interesting story approach. You play as the 17 year old child of two scientists who study Yunai, the game's monsters, and you're sent to the unknown island of Kyoku where you'll 
encounter various Unai that were never before seen, as well as ancient ruins. Thanks to Retro for bringing this game to my attention, and you guys can expect it to be something that we'll be covering uh, each week. The Temtem Twitter page just posted the very first Sipanku music track, so of course, let's listen to it. In Abami Nation news, we got a brand new Abami this week, being the second last unrevealed Abami in the game, and this time it's Core Tiger or Quartiger, the pre-evolution to Tigrest, an Abami we covered previously. Much like its evolution, this Abami is known for the rarity of its diamonds. We have some more news regarding the upcoming Ark Survival Evolve 2 featuring Vin Diesel for some reason. Anyways, uh, Microsoft picked them up as an exclusive, so the game will only be coming to PC and Xbox. On a side note, I always find Xbox exclusives kind of weird because if you have a good PC, there's literally no point in getting an Xbox since all the Xbox games and Xbox Game Pass can all be accessed on PC. But anyway, if you do have PS5 and don't have a good PC, Ark 2 unfortunately won't be something you'll be able to pick up. Okay, so that brand new Mithrin we were talking about earlier is named Bearlet, and it's this earth and biotype. I'm going to read the description off here verbatim because it's quite interesting. Using its mushrooms on their head, they hide away during the night and pop out during the day. Born as triplets, they stick together for life and love to play amongst each other. Being rather shy Mithrin, they are rarely seen. I'm pretty curious to see what it's going to evolve into. Perhaps we'll see them like fuse together to become one in some way or something like that. We also got some more blobs this week with accordance to the Ova Magica blob advent calendar and they are as follows. The turtle blob, the bat blob, the angler blob, the bomb blob, there's a freaking poop blob and the storm starter blob. As I've stated in previous segments of Monster Chamber News, yes, uh, a lot of these have been showcased before, but I figured some of them haven't, or at least I haven't seen all of them, so I figured why not show them off while this advent calendar thing is going on. We still got another couple weeks of that, so. Anyway, so we have the rapid fire news next, and we're gonna get started with the Coromon devs releasing a screenshot showcasing the snowy regions of the game. Monster Crown has added a holiday at Chelk to the game. Make sure to get one while they last. The Necromancer's GIF Twitter showcased an in-game screenshot of what I'm assuming is an in-between level screen. Basically, you have to work your way up to the floor leader at the top. The Moncraft Twitter showcased an electric eel, which is currently unnamed, and the color has also not quite been decided yet. I personally like the one on the left. What do you guys think? We got a new Relegend Magnus, this time the Lilon line, which are from the Volcano biome and feature a Gunslinger playstyle. And finally, last but not least, we get a look at the Druggymon title screen. As always, it's looking quite dank, if I do say so myself. But yeah guys, a pretty quiet week as the craziness that was the Monster Sanctuary release comes to a close, that is. I'm really looking forward to checking out Myth and Island when it comes out tomorrow, and I'm hoping that we get some more info regarding Temtem C Panko update as well. Let me know what you guys are most hyped for in the comments, and with that, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, GymLeaderEd. You can check out my subscriber Discord and my Patreon, all links in the description. Until next time, peace.